So after a scorching drive followed by a tumultuous thunderstorm, we have finally arrived at Soroka Fortress in northern Moldova. Um, and it was absolutely worth it. Um, take a look. This is quite an amazing edifice. It was part of a string of fortresses that was built by successive Moldavian princes back between 14th and 16th centuries. Uh, Soroka Fortress here was built, well, founded by Stefan Celmare, um, Stephen the Great, and then rebuilt by his son, uh, Petru Radish, uh, between 1543 and 1545. We, um, we went, literally went through hell and high water to get here, so um, let's go inside for a closer look. Now we're on the inside of Soroka Fortress, uh, taking a look at uh, what remains. We've been informed that a two million euro project, lasting approximately two years, that will be starting soon, will be restoring the uh, walkways and the galleys uh, made of wood that were once up where you see those holes in the brick work right now. They're going to restore all that, these walkways, um, allegedly by 2012. And uh, once you've completed your tour of Soroka Fortress, here's the best part. You can walk out the front door, jump in the river, and swim to Ukraine, uh, if you've got the requisite guts. Um, I don't see a whole lot of security, um, just a lot of cows, uh, but yeah, I wouldn't personally recommend it, but it's an option for the uh, fearless, swashbuckling, independent traveler, and then you can say that you were in the Ukraine ever so briefly, kissed a cow, and then hightailed it back to Moldova. You got a little exercise in the process.